Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nick from Blink Productions here and today is another tutorial. So, today what we're doing is we're connecting the Fat Shark H2Os to Velocidrone, the simulator. I had a lot of trouble with this myself and there was a few videos I found online to do it and a lot of them didn't work. I don't know why, but I found a way that works for me and I thought I'd share that um, as a tutorial in case anyone else needed it. So, what do we need to get started? The first thing you need is obviously a laptop. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a MacBook Pro, but it is only using the HDMI output from the laptop. So I'm assuming that even a PC, desktop, doesn't really matter what computer you have. Secondly is a cable. Now this cable is HDMI to HDMI, but with a HDMI to HDMI mini on the end. It's a bit of a mouth mouthful, but essentially it's just going from HDMI to HDMI mini. Now with the MacBook Pro, what you also need is an adapter. This adapter is USB-C to a lot of different things. It's got USB, USB, micro SD card and HDMI. For this tutorial, we're gonna be using the HDMI port as well as one of the USB ports. You also need a radio. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Tyrannus QX7. And you also will need a pair of goggles, obviously, because that's the main point of today. And for this tutorial, as I mentioned before, HDO2s. Now there's a lot of videos out there on connecting your controller to the laptop for Velocidrone. So I'm not actually gonna talk about that in this video because there's enough out there. What I had trouble with was connecting the goggles to the laptop, so that's what we're gonna talk about. Now, let's get started. All right, so we have everything that we need to set up here. We've got the laptop cable adapter for the MacBook Pro and the HDOs. So first thing we're gonna do is just plug the adapter straight in. And then HDMI goes straight into where it's supposed to go. And then this section of it, which is the mini HDMI mini, will go into this section of the goggles. So that simple, you just plug it in. Yep, make sure you do it once the wrong way. And then as soon as that happens, you'll see that the laptop flicks. And when it flickers, it means it's switched to the output of the goggles. So, of course the goggles aren't showing anything at the moment, but you can see on the screen that everything has gone larger. So, all we have to do on the goggles is obviously just power them on, chuck the power in, and that's the desktop there. Now if, you can't, if it doesn't automatically come to this section, all you have to do is hit display control here a few times till you find HDMI. And then eventually it'll come onto it and it will be the desktop. As you can see through there, that is the desktop right there. So now switching on to Velocidrome is pretty simple. Got the cable and you've got the radio. All you have to do, I'm sure everyone knows what to do from here, but just in case, plug it straight into the adapter as well. The radio on. I've got the double click and hold habit from DJI. All right, and then plug it in. And that's it there, we're ready to go. So something I did want to mention is that this setup was all over YouTube for doing this, this, this thing exactly, but this didn't work for me. So I, I actually got this one first and this ended up being the wrong one. This was the output on the wrong side and the input on the wrong side. So I had to rebuy this one, and this one was obviously the other way around. So input on the HDMI and output through the AV. This one was the right one, neither of them worked. I'm not saying it doesn't work for everyone else, but I'm saying that it didn't work for me. Um, from doing a bit of research, I feel like it may be because these cables, apparently you can't use a generic one, and that Fat Shark actually has their own dedicated 3.5 millimeter video audio jack. So that could be it, but as far as I know, this doesn't work for me. And that the HDMI to HDMI mini was not only simpler, 
it was cheaper and it's just it's just less adapters. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions or criticisms, post them down below and I'll help you out if I can, but I'm not guaranteed to know the answer because I'm also new to this as well. But I just thought I'd share what I figured out up to this point about this. If you like, I put up FPV updates on FPV Friday on my channel. It's a bit cheesy, but I like it, it's cool. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.